What's going on? It's Joe from Iron Health. Today we're just going to check out some shoulder assessments, some basic ways I check the shoulder out. In a standing position, what we're going to do is going to be a series. We take someone from standing to their stomach and then to their back and what we look for and how we assess it. So the first thing in standing is we look for functional internal rotation. And I'll have Greg here move his arm and say, touch my finger. Good. And what we're looking for, if he comes back, we're going to do it again. What I like to look for is the shoulder blade. Go ahead, slowly. What's happening here? What's happening at the inferior angle? What's happening at the muscles? What's happening at the upper trap? <clears throat> Good. One more time. And then the distance as well. Great. Always compare side to side. You see the right arm, Greg? Good. Come back down. Okay. Good. And you can see that's probably looks a little more difficult for him. Come down. Kind of more muscle poke ends up here. Whatnot. So these are just things to start to get a clinical picture of what's going on and what we got to attack and what we really have to look at when we go further down the assessment. So the next one is just going to be functional external rotation. So he's bring his arm up and to my finger here. Good. Come back. Again, a couple things we look at here is the scapula uh, kinesiology, how it's moving. So go ahead. How's the shoulder blade moving? Is there a nice ratio here? How are his muscles moving? So you get the distance, which is upper trap look like. Let's see that, the right. Good, and same thing. I don't know if you guys can see it in the video, but he definitely, his upper trap kind of kicks in a little more on this side. So that kind of just puts some flags in my head of like what we got to really look at. Next one is just going to be a basic flexion. So arms straight up. We'll do one at a time, good. And then the other, good. And then come down and then always together. You always want to look at them together see what's happened. It's a nice comparison, right? So come back down again. One more time. Good. And he looks somewhat even. There's some things that I see that we'll dive into, but these are some basic ways to assess the, the shoulder motion and standing with their back towards you. Thank you. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Joe from Iron Health. Just kind of continue a series of shoulder assessment. So in the previous video you saw when Greg was standing, all we're gonna do is take him down on his stomach and do the same exact assessment. In this position, kind of gravity is working a different way, and we also can do an active versus passive assessment as well. So what I'll have work first with his left arm, it's going to functional IR. Good, and we're looking again, like, has a shoulder girdle. Now we have this block in the front, so he can't get his humerus forward. There's actually a physical block there. What I like to do too, you know, is I'll have him relax and I'll act I'll passively do it just to see how it feels, to see what's going on, see if the muscles do tense up with just pass passivity. Any pain there? No. Nope. Good. So that's 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 a way to test functional IR in prone on their stomach, off weighted. And external rotation, same thing. So left arm up to my hand right here. Good. And you can see that's a challenge for him. Like one one thing I see here is do it again. You look at his neck, his neck is straining, his scapula kind of seems like it's challenging for him to get there. Right, so if we break that down, relax, let me do it. Does that hurt you? No. What do you feel? Stiff. Yeah, and I can even see, like there's some barriers for me to here to look at. I don't know exactly what yet, but we will dive in further there. And you can see his upper trap is kicking in, his shoulder blade just kind of feels a little stiff. So we gotta address that, look at that. What's going on, why is that functional ER not working? So those are two big ones I look at in prone position. Greg here is pretty good because he doesn't have pain, but if someone has pain, you can further kind of bring your diagnostics down to saying, is it really a shoulder girdle, is it a thoracic spine, is it muscular, is it joint? It kind of breaks it down for us. So this is a good way to do it from standing into a prone position. Thank you. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Joe from Iron Health. I'm going to be continuing our shoulder kind of motion series. Um, one thing I want to address is kind of in the supine position looking at it external and internal rotation and what to look at, what compensations you might see and really how to stop those compensations from happening. So with Greg here, I'll take his arm. I like to put my knee under there, kind of just to stabilize. I'll keep, when I first do it, I'll just keep my hand here, but I'll let it do its motion. So if we take him to ER, I'll just kind of push him. This is passive, right? And I'll feel that barrier of resistance there, see what's going on, see what the end feels like, see what's happening to the shoulder girdle itself. And then we'll do the same for ER, uh, IR. So here. 
So if I don't stabilize, you could see his whole shoulder popping up there, right? If I do stabilize, and ideally I'd be on that side, but we got the video here, so if I do stabilize here, it's a big barrier here. I'd say Greg is probably around 55 degrees. So ideally what you want is 180 of a full arc, meaning this plus this would equal 180. So right now going to Greg's shoulder, I'm assuming that it doesn't. So we would have to dive in and really say like, hey, is this the glenohumeral joint that's really effective right now? Do we have to move it? Do we have to get manual intervention to really start it, to get it moving correctly? So this is definitely a, a valuable test in this position. <clears throat> Another one you can do right away too is, is just true shoulder flexion. You could even have them do it actively. So go ahead and bring your arm back, right? So from this angle, if you're like up where I'm looking at, I kind of look at the, the separation between the ear and the arm, see how wide it is. I like to look at where their shoulder goes. Can they really externally rotate their arm or does it flop into internal? And then if I do it passively, I'll do it a couple ways. I'll just take it on its range kind of. So Greg's natural tendency is to kind of pull out a little bit. If I force him straight, it's not that bad, but it probably doesn't feel comfortable, right? It's not like the best for you. Know. So we can do that and just really see what's going on. Sometimes you can even get in here, stabilize the scapula, and see what's going on there without the, the scapula moving. And this is just a nice little assessment to see shoulder flexion. Greg's pretty good too. Sometimes a lot of people with tight thoracic spine, they will like arch their lumbar spine, so arch, go ahead and arch and show. As you go to flexion, you'll actually see this. So that's something to keep an eye on. So take a look at those. Check them out on your clients. See what's going on. Thanks. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Joe from Iron Help. Just continuing our shoulder series. Just want to go over some exercises and some common things we see and why we do them. So we got Greg here. What we're going to do here is a basic shoulder flexion with a little mini band around his wrist. And what he's going to do is just keeping pressure on that band. He's just going to raise as high as he can. Good. And then back down. Do a couple of those. Good, so a couple things we look at, and Greg actually has it too, yeah? You look at his left shoulder blade, he has this little like hiccup as he moves up, right? And come back down. It's a very subtle, but it's there. Boom. So what we're looking for in this exercise is actually, we're trying to get the shoulder blade to have a nice fluid rhythm here. Along with that, we're strengthening kind of the posterior aspect and, and the lateral structures. And then we're also stressing um, it's a dynamic stability exercise with this type of motion. Another thing you want to look at is where his arms lie. So go ahead again. And you can say like it's really challenging for Greg to keep his elbows straight. Lock him up. Good. Keep him locked and try one more. Come down. And then again. Good. And when he locks his elbows, you see the shoulder blade move a little more. So it's, this, this exercise is not only good for an exercise, but it's also good for an assessment to see like, hey, what's going on? Why, why are you restricted? So try that out.